What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna talk about audio gates in DaVinci Resolve and why you might wanna use one. So let's get into the video. Fairlight tab in DaVinci Resolve has some great tools for helping your audio get to the next level. And one of the tools that you can use is the gate. So what is a gate? A gate basically reduces the level or can even silence parts of a signal that fall below a certain threshold level to reduce or eliminate noise in quiet parts of your recording. So what does that mean? It's a little confusing. So when you're talking in your video or you have some quiet space, maybe you're not saying something, maybe you're showing something and there's quiet space in your video, but your microphone is sensitive enough to pick up some ambient noise, whether it's the wind outside, maybe it's a fan in the room that you're in, maybe it's your computer humming or some kind of noise like that. A gate will help you reduce or eliminate that noise in the points where you're not talking because you don't want to just hear open noise going on. So let's jump over to Resolve and I'm going to show you how to use an audio gate. I've got my video clip and my audio clip here in my timeline in DaVinci Resolve. And now I'm going to jump on over into the Fairlight tab. When I recorded my audio, I used a Blue Yeti microphone. And I also recorded the audio on my 5D Mark IV just so I can sync it up. I'm not going to use the 5D Mark IV audio. I'm going to use the audio from the Blue Yeti. What I want to do is come over to the dynamic section. If you just scroll down these little buttons here come over and click double click on the dynamic section that brings up your dynamics window here and if you look on the left hand side here we have gate so i'm going to play through just the background noise here on this track first and then i'll turn the gate on so you can see the difference so here's without a gate all right and now i'm going to turn on the gate and just listen to the difference It's almost quiet. It cuts out all that background noise, the fan noise. And then when it gets to my words, we should be able to hear me just fine. So let's play through that. Okay, you should hear a fan in the background, a little white noise going on. And I'm going to show you how the gate is going to take care of that. So you can hear it made my voice audio a little choppy. And that's where we would play with these settings a little bit. Basically, your threshold, I'm going to want to drop that down a little bit. So that when my voice and audio starts, that's going to come through. But the fan noise and the background noise doesn't come through as much. You're still going to hear it when I'm talking, but you're not going to hear it as much as if I didn't have the gate on. So I'm going to turn the gate off. I'll play it and I'll turn it on halfway through so you can see the difference. Big difference. Okay, you should hear a fan in the background, a little white noise going on. So there you go, that's how you use your gate. So you have a lot of different settings you can use here. Your threshold level is where do you want that audio to cut off. The higher you raise that, the more it's gonna cut out from your audio channel. And the lower it is, the less it'll cut out. The range is how much do I wanna drop that sound once it gets to that certain point. Maybe you wanna drop it all the way out. Let's, let's try that if we drop it all the way out then you don't hear anything. If I bring it back to kind of where it was, I'll double click it, reset it. Yeah, you can barely hear it in there. And if I turn it off again, you hear that white noise. The ratio, I don't worry about that. The attack time is how quick is that gate gonna kick in? Do you want it to come in right away? Do you want it to ease in? How quick do you want to do it? So the hold is how long is it gonna keep that gate active? If we want it to turn off as soon as that white noise in the background is gone, we're gonna keep hold really low. But if we want it to hold on to that gate a little bit longer, just so that we're not getting choppy words, kind of how my words were before, we're gonna raise that up. So let's hear it with the hold down at zero on my words. Okay, you should hear a fan in the background, a little white noise going on, and I'm going to show you how. To so right there, you see it cut down real quick. Now, if I bring this hold up to say uh, 1200, it's like 1 1.2 seconds, basically, is 1200 milliseconds. So I'm going to play that and then just listen to that one part again. You should hear a fan in the background, a little white noise going on, and I'm going to show you how the gate is going to take care of that. So you can see there, it sounded a lot smoother. It's not very choppy. So the hold I'd put around 1200 and see how that works out. For the release, once that white noise or that background noise that the gate is getting rid of, once that's done, how long do you want the gate to be active until it releases and no longer stops the audio going through there? So in this case, maybe usually I'm, I might boost this up to half a second, which is like 500 milliseconds and see how that works. So you can go through and play with these settings and adjust them to see what works best for your audio and the kind of noise you're trying to get rid of. But the gate is a great tool to help knock out some of that background noise and just clean up your audio and make it sound better. So thanks for checking about this video on the audio gate. If you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.